Hey, what's up guys? It's Cus789. Welcome back to my channel and today on the channel I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial of how to rename the superstars that are in WWE 2K17. I, you can rename anybody you want to whatever you want basically and that's what I'm going to be showing you. And to show you that this actually works, let's just go into WWE 2K17. Uh, let's do a one-on-one -on -one just to show you that this actually works. Uh, I renamed Chris Jericho's retro model to CM Punk because I ported over WWE 2K15's CM Punk model to Chris Jericho's retro model. So that's current Chris Jericho and right here where Christian's name is is supposed to be um, Chris Jericho 01. But if I press down once it'll be Chris Jericho's model but it'll say CM Punk. That's because like I said I ported over Punk to Chris Jericho's retro model. So if I start the match, it'll be CM Punk's entrance um, with CM Punk's model instead of Chris Jericho's. I haven't figured out how to change the render yet. Hopefully as uh, modding progresses and everything like that, I'll be able to figure it out. Uh, but let me just show you. So it says CM Punk right there. Yes, it does still say Chris Jericho. Uh, on the screen when you select him and also during the entrance it says Chris Jericho uh, but that's only because I haven't figured out yet how to port over a previous model from a previous game into an empty slot which with the help of the other modders I'm sure I can learn so shout out to all of them As, uh, also shout out to Cave Wave Rider for unlocking these alternate attires that every superstar, well almost every superstar has, but I'm sure he'll get to it where everybody will have it. Uh, right now I don't have any alternate attires for CM Punk, it's just a 2K15 model. So let me just show you that this works. And on the loading screen, I'll explain this to you guys in a second. Okay, Roman Reigns. Uh, on the loading screen, as you're about to see, it still shows Chris Jericho's name. The reason it says Chris Jericho's name is because if I change that, then current Chris Jericho's name will also change to CM Punk. I don't know why that is, I haven't figured that out yet, but for other superstars that don't have a retro and current model, this will absolutely work. So let me just show you CM Punk real quick. Uh, he's about to make his entrance any day now. Okay, there we go. Uh, also another thing that I'm learning and I'm trying to figure out is why is there smoke coming out? That's what I want to know. I don't know if it's because this is CM Punk's 2011 Money in the Bank entrance that I ported over. Um, it's the one where he sits down in the ring and waits for John Cena to come out. Um, I, I may, it may be have something to do with a cutscene, I'm not really too sure. But let's just skip this. Okay, Lillian, stop talking. Alright, uh, let's just skip this. Skip Roman's entrance. Okay. Alright, uh, as you guys can see on the bottom of the left screen, it does show CM Punk's name. And if I go on the, if I pause the game for a second, it shows CM Punk's name there too under the Chris Jericho render. So let's exit out of this match real quick and let's go back to the main menu and then the superstars and try to figure out who we're gonna change the name of. I think I have a pretty good idea. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with uh, Bubba Ray, Bubba Ray Dudley. I'm gonna change Bubba Ray Dudley's name to Bully Ray in the game. And let me show you how that's done. First, I'm gonna exit out of the game and then what I'm gonna go do is go into WWE 2K17. So I accidentally clicked it twice. I'm gonna go into WWE 2K17's directory folder. I'm gonna go to the pack folder. That's this is all you should be doing, by the way. And I'm gonna scroll down until I find the string file. String file. Uh, string file. String file. Okay, there we go. There it is. Now there's two. Obviously, they have two different. Um, file types. This is a pack file, this is a win file. The one that you're going to want to open is the pack file. Um, and you are going to have to use HXD hex editor to do this, to be able to do this. If you don't have it, I will leave a link in the description of how to download it. 
if you don't have it set up I already have it set up to open in HXD but if you don't just right click on string and then you're gonna go to open with and you're gonna choose another program and from here you can choose programs to um, open up that file with but you're going to need HXD hex editor for this to work so you're just gonna open it up real quick by double clicking the left mouse button and this is where all the changes are going to be made this is where you're going to change the names of whatever superstar you want so first what you're going to want to do is go up here to the search tab click that hover over find or you can press Control F that'll bring up this screen too and then you're gonna who are we gonna change we're gonna change Bubba Ray Dudley so right here we're gonna search for Bubba sorry Bubba Ray Dudley okay and you're gonna press OK and here we go this is the stuff that you need to change so what you're gonna do is right before the B right here you're gonna click right there and because these are all capital letters this is a very important if you want them to be the same way in game they have to all be capital letters so since we're changing this to bully ray we're just going to start typing i'm not sure if my caps lock is on it's not okay it's not on so i have to you don't have to turn it on you can just use shift and everything but uh, i like to have the caps lock on especially if it's all capital letters but since i messed up here's another thing that i needed to point out to you guys since i messed up do not press backspace or do not highlight the B and press delete to get rid of it. What you're gonna wanna do is click right before the B again, make sure caps lock is on or you're holding shift if it's not on and just correct it like that. And now it's an uppercase B or a capital B. And you're just wanna, gonna type out the name. So we're going for bully right, B U l l y and ray is already there you don't have to type it in but i will so you're going to press space to get that space to bring up to the letter r r a y and here's the next step that you're going to need to do after this obviously you don't want to include the dudley part of this so what you're going to do is right after the y you see where this 20 is highlighted right here that means that's the next letter that's going to show up on in the game so what you're gonna want to do is left click right before the 2 in the 20 and you're gonna want to change it to a value of 0 0 which is basically a space in the game but will show up right here as periods but it's a space in the game that's the most important part so what you're gonna want to do is 0 0 so not to get rid of the D again 0 0 Zero 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 zero. Now, when you get to that last period, the period that's before each and every one of these names, do not edit that one. Leave that one in. You can edit it and change it to zero, but there's no point in doing it. I haven't done it yet. I'm just letting you guys know how I do it. So that's one instance of changing it. What you're going to do next is either go back up to search and press or select find again or you can press f3 which is what i like to do so i'm going to press f3 to find bubba ray dudley again remember that's what we searched for in the beginning so you're going to want to change this to bully ray 2. now notice how the first letter is a capital the rest are lowercase then a capital r lowercase capital b lowercase so you're going to click again right before i remember that my caps lock is on so i'm going to hold shift press b and then all lowercase bully spacebar capital R A Y and then after the Y again remember you have to go back to here this box is always going to be highlighted you're going to left click right before the two and change the value to a zero now while you're changing the values to zeros make sure you're paying attention over here to before you get to this period right here so keep going zero 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 and now the box is around that period i never changed that i don't know if it affects the game i'm pretty sure it doesn't because its value it's also zero zero but anyways let's continue you have to do this for every instance 
of where it says the name Bubba Ray Dudley. So again, F3 to find again. Find again, you press F3, and we have to change this again. Now these are all capital, so we have to make them all capital. Bully, space, Ray, and then again after that, we change all of these to uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and so on. Until you get to that, until that box gets to that last period. That's where I usually stop. And then F3 again to get to the next one. Change this, they're all capital. Holy space ray again. Zero. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Zero, 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 until you get to that last period. And then again, F3. Now oh, another one of capital and lowercase letters. So B U L L Y R A W. And we go back to this. Change it to zeros. And there we go. Since this one, see how the end didn't have a period before that? I'm not gonna bother changing that. So I don't need to. Uh, F3 again to find the next instance of Bubba Ray. And we're gonna do the same thing. B U L L Y space R A W. Oh, messed up. Remember what I said about messing up. If you mess up, do not press backspace. Do not press or do not highlight it and delete it. If you mess up, just go back one and type the letter in again. If you do accidentally press backspace or delete, that's fine. It's all good. You can still go back to the letter before and type it again, just like I just did. Um, so we're at the Y. Now what we need to do is the zero, zero, causing the spaces until we get to that last period, which there we go. F3 again, there's another file. Now you're gonna wanna change that too. And these are all capital. Bubba, I'm sorry, not Bubba, Bully, Ray, I messed up again, okay. Y, and then the zero start again. Zero, 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 zero. There's a period this time, so one more. There we go, we're there. F3 again, and you'll get this message when you have run out of searches for Bubba, Ray, Dudley, or any other superstar that you are trying to rename. Click OK, and then you're done. Basically, you've changed every instance of wherever you could find Bubba Ray. In order to look at the previous ones you've changed, you won't be able to find any. So let's go see if we did everything right. We're gonna go to find, and then we're gonna search Bully. Okay, those are, let's just make it all caps then. Bully Ray. And can't find anything. If you get that message, that's fine. Just scroll all the way up, click somewhere here, click search again, find. I already just typed it, just click again, and it'll bring it up. See all these red zeros and everything, all the 42, 4C, 4C, that's L, L, Y, okay? All that stuff, that means it's all changed, it's all good. If it's black for some reason, that means the letter was already there, like the U is there and Bubba. So now that you've done that, you've changed everything, what you're going to do next is click save right here. And when you click save, HXD hex editor automatically creates a backup save file of everything before you did it. So if you made a mistake and you saved it and you go in game and play and there's an error, that's fine. You can start all over. All you have to do is this. Now, speaking of that backup, it's gonna pop up in the WB2K17 pack directory of the game. What you're gonna wanna do with this, you're gonna wanna save this file in case you messed up. So you're gonna right click on the file, you're gonna click cut, and then you're gonna wanna place it in another folder. Place it in any folder that you want, it just can't be in the WB2K17 directory. So what we're gonna do now is I am going to go open up a new folder and then what am I gonna do? Um, let's put it on the desktop. So right here we're on the desktop, we're gonna right click, new folder, and back, okay, back up string folder. 
you're probably wanna, uh, gonna wanna name it that just because you might wanna do this multiple times and just in case you do mess something up, you can always go back. So click enter, the new folder's created, open it up and we cut in the directory of 2K17. So right here, you just go into paste. So that's where your backup save file is. And if you did mess up and you have to go back and bring your old save file back, what you're gonna do here is right click on this rename and just highlight the BAK and the period right here press backspace press enter this message will pop up if you change a file name extension the file might become unusable are you sure you want to change it click yes that brings it back to a pack file which is what you need so you just right click copy and then you bring it back into the pack folder and copy it here but since I didn't mess up anything I'm fine, I don't have to do that. So what you're going to do next is you're just gonna start WWE 2K17 to see if those changes actually worked. So while the game starts, I'm just gonna fast forward this video. I'm not gonna edit anything. I'm just gonna fast forward it for you guys and I'll get back to you as soon as the game loads because when you install mods, the game takes forever to load. So I'm just gonna let it go from here and I'll get back to you guys in a second. All right guys, the game has finally decided to load up so let's get back into this tutorial and let me just show you guys that this actually works. So we're just gonna go to a match real quick and we're gonna bring up Bubba Ray Dudley who we just changed to Bully Ray and see what it says. All right, so if I click down once, it shouldn't say Bubba Ray Dudley anymore, it's going to say Bully Ray. So I'm gonna click down right now. And there you go, it says Bully Ray. We're gonna select on him. Yes, it'll still say Bubba Ray Dudley. Then you're gonna select this. And let's just show on the loading screen that it says it too. Because like I said earlier, Bubba Ray doesn't have a retro model or anything like that. That's his current model. And they won't be named the same in the string file. So let's just randomly select someone. Cesaro. Okay, uh, now that we got that out of the way, let's see if the loading screen says Bully Ray instead of Bubba Ray. And there you go. It says Bully Ray versus Cesario. It doesn't say Bubba Ray Dudley, so you have successfully done that part right. Once you have changed all of the Bubba Ray Dudleys in the string file, that's what will happen. You can change it to whatever you want. You can change it to... You can change Bully Ray to say Cesaro, whatever you want. So let's see if the nameplate in the game actually shows Bully Ray. Let's see if we did that right, if that'll pop up. Just gonna wait here, and there you go, Bully Ray. You can also change the Twitter handle to Bully Ray. Just keep editing until you find the Bully Ray uh, Twitter handle in the string file. You can change that too. So let's just skip this real quick. Just to show that in game it says Bully Ray 2 on the HUD of the game. I'll just skip Cesaro's entrance. And there you go, bottom left corner it says Bully Ray. Now if I pause it, it should also say Bully Ray there. And there you go. So that is it guys, that is how you do it, that is how you change a superstar's name or anybody else in the game, that's how you change their name to whatever you want it to be. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button, comment down below if you are having any troubles and if you need some help, I'll gladly try to help you guys. I do comment back to all of the people that subscribe and watch my videos. And until next time, make sure to subscribe like this video and comment. I've been Cuz789, you have been you, and I'll catch you later.